Hi, welcome all of you. My name is Dinesh Johan, microbiologist, and today we are discuss about the Imvig test. So let's start. So first, the content, the so what which topic we discuss here. So first, our point is a what is Imvig test and its history. Then we discuss a what is the long form of Imvig. Then we discuss the mechanism and procedure of Imvig test. Then we discuss the list of microorganism that shows this taste means list of microorganism that also i'd give then the memory chart means how to memorize this uh, imvig taste or their mechanism also how to memorize okay then we discuss about the composition of media means whatever the composition uh, what are the media or medium we use in the imvig taste uh, that are how prepare in a laboratory that also i give that is a component of that then we discuss the application of the imvig test okay so let's start with our first what is imvig test okay so let's start so first what is imvig test and its history so imvig test is a biochemical test and it is used for the identification and differentiation of coliform now the this is a biochemical test when i say this is a biochemical test the question is arises a what is a biochemical test so the biochemical test means what on the so is a you know <coughs> biochemical test means what so the on the basis of the biochemical characteristic of microorganism we can identify the microorganism or differentiate the microorganism on the basis of biochemical characteristics now again question arises what is meant by the biochemical characteristics so for that i give you one example for example this is a two organism this is a e coli and this is a enterobacter erosion this is two organism so these two organisms suppose this two organism suppose this is a organism one and this is two so this e coli have the ability to produce a tryptophanase enzyme and the tryptophanase enzyme convert the tryptophan into the indole but enterobacter erogens is not produce the tryptophanase enzyme so this is a this is a biochemical one of the biochemical characteristics means this organism produce the enzyme but this organism cannot produce the enzymes that require for the, uh, hydrolysis of tryptophan okay so this is a biochemical characteristic and this is a one of the this imvig test is one of that test okay then the for the identity and this used for identification and differentiation of coliform now again the what is mean by the coliform so coliform means what uh, generally the coliform or is also called enteric bacteria means nothing but a bacteria or the microorganism that live in a colon region of the intestine is called the coliform and there are two groups of coliform e coli and enterobacter erogens e coli is called a fecal coliform and enterobacter erogens is called a non fecal coliform so these two organism to differentiate these two organism mainly we are use the imvig test okay so and this imvig test so this is about the what is imvig test then the history so history i tell you just after this point then we go to the what is a long form of imvig then what is a long form of imvig in this so imvig means what so i stand for here the i stand for indol m stand for methyl red v stand for bogus prosker i stand for in i stand for two this small i is stand for two thing is stand for it is, is nothing but for pronunciation or is for the in what this in i tell you the answer is this when i start the citrate test then i tell you the answer of that then capital c stand for the citrate utilization test and this i m v or capital c this we take from the first letter of the indole test with the first letter from methyl red test from bogus prosker and citrate utilization test so we we'll take the first letter and we form this imvig so imvig is nothing but a what is a acronym this imvig is what is a acronym stand for a four different test okay stand for a four different test 
then and these four different days or this term this imvik the imvik name was coined by the scientist this history coined by the scientist per from the first letter of the four test okay so this is a imvik so scientist per coined this imvik term name okay next is what next is next is our mechanism most important now this point start is a mechanism and the procedure of imvik test so first test is a indole test already we discussed that imvik nothing but is a four biochemical test so i stand for indole test so first test that we discuss here is the indole test so what is indole test so indole test mainly based on based on is a based on or idea of this test is what here we for the detection of indole or benzyl pyrrol detection of indole or benzyl pyrrol produced from the tryptophan by the tryptophan is enzyme that produced by the microorganism so here we detect the indole production of we detect the indole if the micro he, here we detect the indole so if the microorganism is present in a water sample or culture that have ability to produce tryptophan is enzyme that convert the tryptophan into the indole so okay so this test is totally depend upon the production of indole and that's why this test is called indole test okay and then the requirement in a requirement then the procedure in a procedure first of all we know know the what is mean by the mean the uh, first of all we know the required requirement so first of all we know the what we want for this test so requirement in a uh, requirement we want the tryptophan water and or peptone broth tryptophan actually is present in a, any protein so we can take the either peptone water or protein tryptophan broth or tryptophan water then we take the sample water sample or test culture then we take the covax reagent this we require covax reagent and is covax reagent is made up of the hcl alcohol and the para and the para dimethyl amino benza aldehyde this small piece called for para so para dimethyl amino benza aldehyde i highlight this because this is important next is a test tube pipette inoculating needle that is all the <coughs> minor requirement then the <coughs> then the method then the what is a then the method of indole test so in indole test what we do here in indole test okay so method uh, so the method of indole test so in a method what we take we take the this tryptophan water we take the tryptophan water or peptone water or this peptidin water then the tryptophan water is added we take the test tube and this prepare we prepare the tryptophan water then add this tryptophan water into the test tube okay then we add the culture either you use the test culture or you can use the water sample we unknown about we know we don't know ki uh, which micro or what which we don't know the which micro or if the which we don't know Uh, the microorganism that uh, produce that have ability to produce indole that present in this or water sample we don't know so then inoculation of this culture into the tryptophan water with the help of inoculating loop or you can take the pipette then <coughs> the then we plug the cotton plug and then we incubate this test tube at 24 hour for 37 degree then we add the covax reagent in it and we get the cherry red color we add the after incubation we add the covax reagent and we get the cherry red color ring as we as i show this on upper side a and b this is a positive result if the cherry red color develop and this is a negative result then <clears throat> if the cherry red color develop then the interpretation of result so if the cherry red color is developed then the indole positive and if the no cherry red color develop or is called a indole negative test so it is a i positive or i negative shown by the microorganism so how the microorganism actually or or why or how this actually or why this uh, ring this cherry red color ring is form only on a surface not on in below this not on a below the test tube why why this not form so answer of this i give you in a so answer of this i give you in a <coughs> mechanism so 
टिप्टोन वाटर और सो वी टेक द टिप्टोन वाटर एंड टिप्टोन वाटर द टिप्टो फैन सो टिप्टो फैन इज यूटिलाइज्ड बाय टिप्टो फैन इज हाइड्रोलाइज्ड बाय दिस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड कन्वर्ट इनटू द इंडोल प्लस पाइरुविक एसिड प्लस अमोनिया दे प्रोड्यूस बाय द प्रोड्यूसिंग द एंजाइम दैट इज टिप्टो फैन इज एंजाइम सो व्हेन वी कल्टीवेट व्हेन द इनोकुलेट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इनटू द दिस टिप्टोन वाटर एंड वी इनक्यूबेट सो इन इनक्यूबेशन पीरियड व्हाट हैपन If the there is a microorganism present that have ability to produce tryptophan enzyme, so that produce tryptophan enzyme <coughs> converted tryptophan into the indole plus pyruvic acid plus ammonia, then this indole, this is up to the incubation, and after the addition of the coax reagent after incubation, then what happen? Then uh, these coax reagents is add, then coax reagent the indole is pre is produced, you know. Indole is produced in the that uh, dipped on water. So, so here the indole is react with the para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde and we get a complex red red color complex on the surface. So how? So the alcohol, the so coax reagent made up of the HCl plus para dimethyl HCl alcohol and para dimethyl amino uh, para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde. So the alcohol that present in in the coax reagent that extract the indole from the <coughs> that end of the indol from below the test tube to the upper surface and on the upper surface and on the upper surface the para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde react with the indol that extracted by the alcohol to the upper surface react and form the cherry red color on a surface and on a surface there is a para dimethyl amino present so as alcohol as alcohol extract this on a surface and then on a surface this this uh, para dimethyl is present that react with that and form the chi red color complex so this is all about the indole test <coughs> <coughs> but what happen in some time there is a formation of chi red color red color but not on a surface intermediate it's below that here suppose here form here on a test tube not on a surface this form an intermediate somewhere here this 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 result also takes place this result is also we can see this result also sometime is occur why due to the kind due to when the apparatus is not properly washed then such type of result may be observed so to avoid that such type of result intermediate result what we do we add the elas reagent or xylene that if in uh, that what they do so they also extract the indole to the upper surface more indole to the upper surface so the such type of result is avoided okay uh, then we discuss about the mechanism and <clears throat> then we discuss the mechanism and the mechanism procedure of methyl red test so in a methyl red taste, the amount of acid produced by the